The Effect of Gene Mutations on Protein Structure by casescience.com On each chromosome you find thousands of genes. Genes are short sections of DNA that code for proteins. So each section of DNA codes for a specific protein. As you can see of gene 1, whereby this section of DNA, the gene, codes for a specific sequence of amino acids that forms a specific protein. And the longer section of DNA of gene 2 is going to code for a specific sequence of amino acids that will be longer than the amino acid sequence of gene 1. This will then produce a protein with a different shape to gene 1's protein. And gene 3, which is the shortest section of DNA out of all three genes, is going to code for a shorter amino acid sequence, which should lead to a smaller protein, and therefore a different protein to genes 1 and gene 2. Now let's look at the effect of a gene mutation. A mutation is a change in the DNA sequence. Let's imagine that gene 2 codes for a protein used in the production of red blood cells, which allows it to have its biconcave shape. Let's imagine that this small section of DNA mutates, where the blue section of DNA mutates. This means that there is a change in the DNA sequence of this section here, whereby I have highlighted the different bases of the two genes before mutation and after mutation. I'm now drawing the amino acid sequence for the non-mutated DNA sequence. And because the DNA mutated, which means that the DNA sequence changed, this will lead to a different sequence of amino acids. So as you can see here, this is the bit where the DNA sequence changed. This bit here is where the DNA sequence changed. So where the DNA sequence changes, this is where the amino acid sequence is going to change as well. So as you can see, there is a change in amino acid sequence. So the non-mutated DNA in the example above is not mutated, which leads to an unmutated amino acid sequence, which leads to a functional protein. So that means that red blood cells can be made with the correct specific protein. So the mutated DNA causes a DNA sequence to change, which causes the amino acid sequence to change, which leads to, in this case, a sickle shape, poorly functioning red blood cell. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.